This is another tutorial brought to you by MLDS Networks at www.mlds-networks.com. This tutorial will demonstrate how to insert an image on a Joomla website um, using the JCE editor component that is included standard on all MLDS Networks premium web hosting services. In this case, I have a small write-up on a Joomla website that I would like to add an image to. To add an image, log into the administrative backend at your website slash administrator. The JCE admin makes it much simpler to be able to add images. In this case, I can go straight to the article. And JCE has added a number of added components down here. The one of interest today is the Insert Edit Image button. Upon hitting this button, a new window is opened, and I can find existing folders and images and information about those images just by selecting them. And they will have small previews in the size. If I wanted to upload a new image, I would click the Upload button, browse, and select the image that I wanted to update. I can resize the image to make it more reasonable for use on a website. I can also adjust the quality down. It is not unreasonable to reduce the quality significantly to be able to, upload, to be able to make it load quickly when others view your website. In this case, I'm not going to actually upload an image. I'm going to use an image already uploaded. So I'm going to add some cherries to our website. Notice how I can select it. I get a preview down in the corner, and I see that it's 3K, which over dial-up would take about three seconds to load this image. It's always good to keep this in mind. You notice there's some other information automatically filled in, such as description and title. If I wanted to add some extra formatting, I can tell whether I want to align the image left or right of the text. If I wanted to change the size of it or put a border around it. Let's give it a little bit of space. And I think everything else by default is fine. There's several other options, but we need not worry about those. You can also delete images, copy and rename images. You can also jump back up the folder or use the quick drop down list to get to other folders full of images. You can also create new folders. I highly recommend the use of folders for organizing images, especially when a site becomes large. It is simpler to do it from the beginning than to do it later on. So now that I've selected the image and changed all the properties I want, I'll go ahead and hit insert. You'll see that the image is inserted to the left of the text where the cursor was, and it is exactly where I want it to be. In this case, I am done, so I'm going to save, which will save the image, to the uh, content and bring me back to the content items listing. If I go back to the article and refresh the page, notice how the cherry image is now there with the small amount of space between it and the text, and also the t alternate text is there with cherry, as in those first two uh, those first two boxes when we uploaded it. Oh, again, this video was presented by MLDS. If you have requests for other Joomla tutorials, please send them to admin at mlds-networks.com.